Solomon was the son of King David and had grown to become a great king himself. Solomon was a very wise king and he did many great things. But the greatest work of Solomon's reign was the building of the house of God, which was called the temple. Solomon planned very carefully. That's because building the temple was very important work. It mattered a lot to Solomon. That's because his father, King David, had wanted to build the temple and had prepared for it by gathering lots of gold, silver, stone, and cedar. Solomon knew how much the temple mattered to his dad. He knew how much it mattered to God. So building the temple mattered to Solomon very much. He took great care to make sure everything was just right. The temple stood on Mount Moriah, which is the exact place where Abraham took his son Isaac to be sacrificed. The place where Solomon's father David had built an altar and the Lord appeared to him. This was a very important place designed for a very important task, building God's house. Cedar for the roof was brought from faraway lands, and all the stones for the building of the temple were chiseled and shaped and fitted together before they were brought to Mount Moriah. And all the beams for the roof and the pillars of cedar were carved and made to join each other. This was so that as the walls arose, no sounds of hammers or chisels were heard. God's house was built quietly. Because building God's temple so that people could worship was so important to Solomon, he used the finest materials to build it. The walls were covered with pure gold. He decorated it with precious gems. Nothing was too good for God's house. It took King Solomon and his men seven years to build the temple, but at last it was finished. When it was done, Solomon brought all the things his dad, King David, had gathered for the temple, the gold, silver, and other important items. Then he had the Ark of the Covenant brought to the temple where it would sit in a place of honor in the house of God. Finally, Solomon held a great service to let the people know the temple was ready. Solomon's greatest work was complete. He cared about the house of God. He cared about worship. So God used Solomon to build his temple where people could worship the one true God.